Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. The new documentary on Netflix called Rising Phoenix has already received so much coverage. Harry has been involved with the documentary from the very beginning and feature in it. The American Morning Show today shared an exclusive video of Harry talking to some individuals who also feature in the documentary. Even the French president, Emmanuel Macron, is talking about it on Twitter. Rising Phoenix shares the history and stories behind the Paralympic Games. This is perfect considering his role with the Invictus Games. Very proud. He is the founder of the We Are Invictus Games. Harry featured in the trailer, saying, There isn't anything else in the world that can bring you back from the darkest places than sport. Yes, lives are being changed on the track, but lives are also being changed on the stands. This month should have seen the ending of the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, as well as the beginning of the Paralympics. On August 26, the Paralympics would have started if not for the pandemic. Your stories and the, you know, the strength that you guys show is incredible. And I think that, that, that needs to be seen more, just as you said, Tatiana, it needs to be spoken about more to, to try and get rid of the stereotyping, to get rid of those preconceptions. We are very capable of doing everything that everybody else can do if we're just given that chance to do it. This hope is that people watch this film and go, no matter how hard my life is, no matter how hard a day or a week can be, this is what I aspire to. Another analysis. This might be the reason Meghan Markle is truly glad to be back in California. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry have already settled into their new lives in America. Though the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic appended their plans, the duo has switched gears. They've put the launch of their Arkwell Foundation on the back burner focused on helping those most affected by COVID-19 and being a resource for the Black Lives Matter movement. For the Duchess part, stepping away from her royal role and returning home during an election year has afforded her the opportunity to speak out about the importance of voting and why women must use their voice in the forthcoming election. In a recent chat with legendary activist Gloria Steinem, Meghan revealed why she's so thrilled to be home. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry purchased their first home in Santa Barbara. Though they had been hunkering down with their son Archie and Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland at Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion, since moving to the States in March, the Sussexes have just moved. The duo purchased their first home together, a sprawling estate located in Santa Barbara's No Tachito community. With neighbors like their dear friend, Oprah Winfrey, Katy Perry, and Ellen DeGeneres among others, the royal couple is going to be around like-minded people while getting the privacy they've been searching for. Their $14.7 million home includes nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms, a tea house, a children's cottage, a full-size tennis court, a lap, lane swimming pool, and an elaborate built-in children's playset that Archie apparently is already a major fan of. Meghan Markle says she's glad to be back in California. For Maker's Women, Megan sat down on the grounds of her new home with her dogs and the legendary Steinem for a cue, and a about women and voting. In the teaser clip, Steinem welcomed the Duchess home. The actress said, Megan, welcome home. I'm so glad that you're home. Megan responded, Me too, for so many reasons. Obviously we know the various trials and tribulations that Megan endured while living in the UK, that included constant sexism and racism being spewed her way, while having to adhere to the royal's stiff upper lip protocol. Though we're sure the former actor is thrilled to be back to her roots, there might be another reason why she's so excited to be back in California. This might be the real reason Meghan Markle is glad to be back in California. The main reason, Meghan and Prince Harry pulled the trigger to leave the royal family, relocating one hour away from Los Angeles, is for their son Archie. Santa Barbara is a tranquil location that's exactly their speed. Santa Barbara is a very health-conscious and holistic community that aligns with the Sussex's values. An insider told Pod Save the Queen podcast. As far as Montecchio goes, that city borders Santa Barbara and it's very wealthy. Everyone knows that but respects the privacy of the locals. 
My experience is people in Santa Barbara are generally good-natured and well-off. The source added that the couple won't have to be concerned with their privacy. It's very expensive to live there, but it's a fun town and very health-conscious bike paths and gorgeous beaches, mountains and hiking. I'm not surprised Harry and Megan moved to Montecito. It's gorgeous and as close as you'll get away from the crazy of the cement Los Angeles area. People will be very closed off with speaking to anyone with the press. The locals do not like the press bothering the residents and will let them know they're not wanted in order to protect their privacy. It's just the way it works there. In other news, some Americans have had enough of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry dominating U.S. media coverage. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry moved to Los Angeles in March after dealing with the relentless negative press coverage in the United Kingdom for almost two years. The couple is even suing a few UK newspapers for allegedly invading their privacy. However, not everyone is welcoming toward Meghan and Harry in the United States. Recently, some Americans started pushing a petition against Meghan and Harry, calling for the couple to stop dominating the U.S. media landscape. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been living and working in the U.S. After Meghan and Harry moved to Los Angeles, they resided in a mansion owned by Tyler Perry. In August, however, it was revealed that the Sussexes had bought a home in Santa Barbara County. Ever since they came to the U.S., Meghan and Harry have also been spending their time volunteering and giving talks about issues close to their hearts, such as voting, women's empowerment, and racism. Some Americans have had enough of Meghan and Harry in the U.S. media. Since Meghan and Harry are now living and working on American soil, they have garnered more interest in the U.S. media landscape. However, not everyone is happy about that. Four months ago, a petition was launched on Change.org to urge American news outlets to curb their coverage of the Sussexes. Titled, Meghan Markle and Just Harry, Please Stop Flooding American Press, the petition started gaining some traction in the past week. It has received hundreds of supporters out of the 1,000 needed. Meghan Markle and Just Harry complained that they wanted privacy in the UK. The petition says, referencing Harry's request in February to just call me Harry. The petition continues. They also claimed that they were not thriving and the press caused them so much distress, so they went to Canada. Nobody is quite sure what Canada did to them, but since then, they have descended upon the paparazzi hotspot of Los Angeles. The petition then goes on to say that, despite their claim of wanting privacy, for some peculiar reason, Every time Americans look at the news, the internet, magazines, ETC full stop, we have to look at their faces. It adds, Sunshine Sachs, their PR firm, whom they pay for, and who have represented Michael Jackson and Harvey Weinstein, seem to be working feverishly around the clock to keep them in the news every single day, spinning up articles and confusing the public because there is just a blitz every single day. The petition description ends with one sentence, we've had enough already. Meanwhile, the people who are supporting the petition call Meghan and Harry toxic, petty, and hypocritical. An expert said Meghan and Harry do not want a totally private life. Ever since Meghan and Harry decided to step down from being senior royals in early 2020, many people have found their privacy status confusing. However, royal expert Victoria Murphy noted that the Sussexes do not want a totally private life, as some have been led to believe. Murphy wrote in an article for Town & Country. They have stepped back not in search of a totally private life, as some erroneously claim they wanted, but for a different kind of public life. A public life where they can have more control over who gets access to them and what they spend their time on. T Royal Channel, by subscribe channel, like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop.